In a room at the British Ministry of Defense, generals and strategists gathered. They were looking for a new weapon to replace the AS-90, a tracked howitzer that had served faithfully for decades. The world was changing rapidly, military threats were becoming increasingly sophisticated, and Britain needed a modern, fast, and powerful weapon. After considering many options, such as the South Korean K-9 Thunder, the French Caesar, and the Swedish Archer, Britain ultimately chose the German-made RCH-155. What made the RCH-155 stand out? Let's follow its story. In January 2020, the UK released its requirements list for the Mobile Fires Platform Program. They wanted a light, fast, wheeled howitzer that could be transported by aircraft like the Airbus A400M. Furthermore, this weapon had to have a long range, be agile on the battlefield, and be resistant to modern threats such as drones and enemy radar. Initially, the UK wanted a range of up to 80 kilometers but this was deemed excessive because other missiles could already fill that role. The focus shifted to mobility, automation, and battlefield survivability. Four main candidates competed, the RCH-155 Germany, the K-9 Thunder, South Korea, the Caesar, France, and the Archer, Sweden. Each has its advantages, but only one can meet all of the UK's requirements. Getting to know the candidates, K-9 Thunder. This tracked howitzer, manufactured by Hanwha Aerospace, is renowned for its ruggedness and battlefield provenance. The K-9 has a range of up to 50 kilometers with special ammunition and can carry 48 rounds. However, because it is track-based, the K-9 is heavier and slower on the road than a tracked howitzer. Caesar, this tracked howitzer, manufactured by Nexter, is lightweight and agile mounted on a 6x6 or 8x8 truck. The Caesar has a range of up to 42 kilometers, 55 kilometers, with special ammunition and is renowned for its shoot and scoot capability. However, Caesar lacks crew protection and requires more personnel to operate than other automated systems. Archer, this system, developed by BAE Systems Bofors, uses a 6x6 truck and is highly automated, requiring only a crew of three to four. The Archer can fire up to 50 kilometers and has a fast automatic loading system. However, in snow or mud, the Archer lacks maneuverability and the UK is concerned about its performance in extreme conditions. RCH-155, this tracked howitzer, developed by Kraus Maffei Wegman, KMW, is mounted on a Boxer 8x8 armored vehicle. The RCH-155 uses the 155mm L-52 gun from the PZH-2000 with a range of up to 54 kilometers. Its advantages? The RCH-155 can fire on the move, something other candidates cannot. Furthermore, the system is highly automated and requires only a crew of two. Trials and Considerations The UK conducted rigorous trials for all four candidates. They wanted a weapon that was not only powerful, but also suitable for their strategic needs. The RCH-155 excels in several ways. Firing on the move The RCH-155 is the world's first howitzer capable of firing on the move, giving it a significant advantage in evading enemy radar and counterattacks. This feature is crucial on the modern battlefield. Mobility and protection. Based on the Boxer, the RCH-155 can travel up to 100 kilometers per hour and has better armor protection than the Caesar. The Boxer was also used by the British for infantry fighting vehicles, simplifying logistics and maintenance. High automation. With an automatic loading system and remote control, the RCH-155 requires only a two-man crew, reducing risk to soldiers and increasing efficiency. While the Archer is also automated, the RCH-155 is more flexible in various terrains. 
Industrial Partnerships. The RCH 155 is co-produced in Germany and involves over 100 suppliers in the UK. This translates into local economic benefits and ease of long-term maintenance. Meanwhile, the K9 Thunder suffers from its heavy weight and limited road mobility. The Caesar, while lightweight, offers less crew protection and cannot fire on the move. The Archer, while sophisticated, is less suited to extreme terrain and less flexible than the Boxer in terms of logistics. The RCH 155 emerged as the frontrunner due to its alignment with the UK's future force structure and NATO commitments. In April 2024, the UK announced the RCH 155 as the winner following an agreement with Germany. Besides technical excellence, the partnership with Germany and the involvement of local industry were key factors. The RCH 155 is considered the complete package, fast, powerful, protected, and ready to face future threats. The UK plans to order 200 to 240 units, which will enter service with the Royal Artillery before the end of the decade. The UK's decision to select the RCH 155 is a story of finding the right balance between advanced technology, mobility, and practicality. With its fire-on-the-move capability, robust protection, and local industry support, the RCH 155 is not just a weapon, but a symbol of the future of British artillery. In an ever-changing battlefield, the RCH 155 is poised to become the backbone of the UK's defense, maintaining security amidst global challenges.